Hi everyone, I'm here once again to give you the lowdown on all of the new products announced as part of the Corgi September to December range. As always, everything here is planned to come in stock in the next few months. Starting off with Aviation Archive, I'll pick up with our surprise announcement of the return of the Canberra that we made at the Royal International Air Tattoo in late July. I know how highly requested this one has been, so it was hugely exciting for me to quietly slip this pre-production model into the display at the biggest air show in the world. Thank you to all the collectors who visited over the weekend, it was fantastic to see your enthusiasm for the Aviation Archive range, and I can't wait to get this long-awaited model into your hands. It's due to arrive in November, and pre-orders have already been quite brisk, so make sure to get yours in as soon as you can. On to new announcements then, and we have another long absent model returning to Aviation Archive in the shape of the Fairy Swordfish. This model tooling was last released 12 years ago, so I'm really pleased to be able to bring it back. The new model will be presented in the livery of one of the US liveried aircraft that operated from aboard HMS Biter during Operation Torch in November 1942. You can expect this one to arrive in November this year, and we'll have updates showing the final model in a future edition of Diecast Diaries. Something else that's long been requested is a Messerschmitt Bf 109E Night Fighter, and I'm delighted that we're finally delivering this as well. The new model features brand new tooling to create the rear radome blister underneath the fuselage. This is the final package production sample, and the model itself will be in stock imminently in September. That's not the only Messerschmitt we're debuting this time though, as we also have a brand new release of the Messerschmitt ME262 jet fighter to come, and this release is configured as a fighter bomber release for the very first time, featuring never before released rocket packs underneath the wings. This release is also due in November. Moving on to our 148 scale jet range, we have a new release of our hugely popular McDonnell Douglas Phantom, this time an FGR2 configuration for the first time, and representing a beautiful scheme of number 1345 flight that operated in defence of the Falkland Islands in the early 1990s. This release is due to arrive in December. And lastly, a quick update on our 148 scale BAE Harrier 2. We've been carrying out further amends and revisions to the tooling on this one, but I'm pleased to say this will be arriving with us in December. Stay tuned for a proper update on this in Diecast Diaries when we receive our final production sample ahead of the release. Work is also still progressing on our new tool B26 Marauder and Panavia Tornado toolings, and you can expect to be able to pre-order those in the new year. Moving on to Vanguards, I'm pleased to debut the latest in our premium collector sets, this time focusing on the multiple generations of the Ford Escort RS badge. This is the largest collection we've produced, featuring five vehicles. The Mark 1 RS 1600, the Mark 2 RS 2000, the Mark 3 RS 1600i, the Mark 4 RS Turbo, and the RS Cosworth. For the first time, the set also includes five separate collector cards detailing the history of each vehicle. This fantastic collection is due in stock in October. Moving on to solo vanguards, we have the first release of a brand new tall Ford Mustang Mark VI, presented here as one of Ford's Mac 1 press cars in a striking fighter jet grey paint job. This is an early pre-production sample, but we're expecting the final thing to be with us in a couple of months in November. Our new tool Ford Focus Mark III was a hugely popular announcement back at the beginning of this year, with both the RS and ST releases quickly clearing from our warehouse. I'm pleased to say that the next release is a Race Red ST, and this will be in stock very soon in September, so make sure to grab one before they all go, because I'm pretty sure they all will once again. The new tool Ford Transit Custom also gets a Race Red release in this announcement, featuring a custom trail model with the highly distinctive front grille and trim options. This is also due to arrive in stock in September. Our next Ford Ranger Raptor is a frozen white edition, featuring some striking rear graphics. The Ranger Raptor remains the biggest Vanguard's model ever produced and certainly has the weight to match it. This release will also be arriving imminently in September. Going from the largest to the smallest Vanguard, the beloved Mini Cooper 1275 GT makes a return to the range in this striking black tulip livery. Vanguard's collectors may remember that this model was first announced back in our 2020 range and then never materialised, so I'm really pleased to finally bring this one to the market at last. It's due to arrive in October. Moving on to film and TV products, we have a number of exciting new entertainment licenses that are joining the Corgi range. But first, a quick catch up on some of our existing licenses that have new model releases coming very soon. Joining the premium James Bond collection is this brand new battle damaged incarnation of the Aston Martin DBS as featured at the beginning of Quantum of Solace. The missing driver's door on this one is very much intentional. The film is marking its 15th anniversary this year, and this is a companion piece to our hugely popular Battle Damage DB5 from No Time to Die. This one will be in stock in October. Also coming in October is our long-awaited 112th scale model of the legendary Triumph Trophy TR6 motorcycle from The Great Escape. 
This is our final sample of the weathered release of the model, which will be a limited edition for the first production run to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the film this year. Here as well is the final sample of our newly tooled Formula E Gen 3 car, featuring the eye-catching championship livery to promote the race series for the next few years of the car being used in competition. The model is now a Corgi website exclusive and is also due to arrive in stock in October. Our first Wallace and Gromit model releases are due soon as well, and so here is the first look at the final collector package of the Austin A35 collection, featuring three newly tooled Austin A35 vans from some of Wallace and Gromit's adventures. This pack uses some of creator Nick Park's original pencil sketches on a very robust and compact collector box. The set is due to arrive in early November. Time for some new announcements, and I'm pleased to reveal what we've been calling internally our heavy metal trucks range. The initial releases feature liveries representing the legendary bands Motorhead and Iron Maiden, and both are officially licensed by the bands themselves. These are seriously big and heavy products for metal fans to add to their memorabilia collections, and both are due into stock in October. In the next couple of months, one of the most beloved Jerry Anderson properties is making a comeback in the Corgi range. Captain Scarlet. Both the SPV and Angel Interceptor models will be available in October. And, before anyone asks me in the comments about our newly tooled Stingray model, we're still hard at work there. Pre-orders will be going live on our next range announcement in early January as part of the series' 60th anniversary celebrations in 2024. And last but not least, it's time to return to the final frontier. After nearly two decades away from the Corgi range, I'm pleased to present the first two starships that will be joining our new collection of models from the Star Trek universe. The USS Enterprise NCC-1701 from the original series and the USS Enterprise NCC-1701D from the next generation are existing Corgi toolings with improved decoration, premium packaging and a newly tooled Starfleet Delta display stand. Both models are available to pre-order now ahead of release later this year. That's it for this range announcement. Remember that everything here is due to arrive in stock by the end of 2023 and I'll be back in January to cover off all the new announcements and reveal our new tooling projects for 2024. Things to look forward to include an aviation archive collection commemorating the 80th anniversary of D-Day, our newly tooled 4 Capri Mark II in Vanguards and plenty more new tooling from our entertainment licenses including James Bond, Wallace and Gromit, Star Trek and of course the chance to pre-order Stingray at long last. Make sure to keep an eye on Diecast Diaries on the Corgi website for development updates and surprises. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in 2024.